you are interesting in today's video. The attitude of the United States towards China's chip restrictions gives people a sense of ambiguity. On the one hand, it encourages American companies to increase shipments of chips to China, and strives for more orders in China to promote innovation and development. On the other hand, it imposes strict exports on advanced chips. Control measures The United States definition of advanced chips is the key. The U.S. Department of Commerce officially announced that China's chip ban will be lifted and more chips can be sold to China. The U.S. media permanently cut off the supply of advanced chips. What is the attitude of the U.S. Department of Commerce? U.S. Secretary of Commerce Raimondo paid a four-day visit to China at the end of August. During these four days, Raimondo cannot say that he returned without success. Because when he left, Raimondo said he was optimistic about leaving China. This sentence represents that the top leaders of China and the United States have reached agreement on certain aspects, including restrictive measures in the chip industry. Sure enough, after returning to the United States, Raimondo said in an interview with a program that he could sell more chips to China. This shows the huge influence of the Chinese market in the global chip market. China's consumer demand and technological innovation capabilities are constantly improving. It is impossible for the United States to completely decouple from China in any case. After all, the Chinese market is one of the important sources of profits for American companies. The business scale of American companies in the Chinese market continues to expand and the Chinese market has become an important source of profits for many American companies. 30% of Intel's revenue comes from China, and Qualcomm's revenue in the Chinese market accounts for more than 60%. So Raimondo can allow American companies to continue selling chips to China, which is in their interest. Once American companies make money, they can continue to invest in technological innovation and enhance America's scientific and technological strength. Raimondo thought things too simply, thinking that China would always accept mid to low end chips from American companies. American media said that the United States will permanently cut off the supply of advanced chips. Although Raimondo said that he would continue to sell more chips to China, he also added an additional condition, that is, the top-notch chips would not be included. Similar to NVIDIA's A100, H100 may be among them. In order to continue doing business in the Chinese market, NVIDIA had to launch A800 and H800 Special Edition chips to reduce the chip's computing power to meet U.S. chip export requirements. On the surface, the U.S. Department of Commerce is announcing the lifting of the ban on Chinese chips, but in fact the United States has never given up its suppression of Chinese chips. U.S. media said, Permanently cutting off the supply of advanced chips will prevent China from obtaining the most advanced chips in the United States. The United States is worried that China's development threatens its leadership in global science and technology. China has made great progress in the field of science and technology in recent years, especially in fields such as artificial intelligence and chip manufacturing and has become an important competitor in the global technology field. The United States believes that if China obtains the United States' top chip technology, it will make China develop more rapidly in the field of technology and cause the United States to lose its competitive advantage in the field of technology. But no matter how the United States restricts China's chip development, China will not give up and move forward.
Chips are the primary productive force in science and technology and are related to the future of the industry. We must keep the core technology in our own hands. Therefore, while the United States restricts China's advanced chip exports, Chinese manufacturers have not stopped moving forward. Take Huawei as an example. High silicon Kirin chips could not be put into OEM many years ago. Qualcomm Snapdragon chips took advantage of the situation and won Huawei chip orders, but they could only provide 4G chips. If it were other manufacturers, they might accept the reality and use 4G chips to continue to meet business needs. Although Huawei's Kirin chip arrived late, it has appeared in the new Mate 60 Pro mobile phone. A new Kirin 9000S chip was born, and the production place comes from mainland China. If the United States wants to cut off the supply of advanced chips, it will develop its own. The United States will develop whatever it does not sell. In the end, all technical problems will be solved. If the United States wants to sell advanced chips, it will depend on whether China wants them. Kirin chips are back, do American companies still have a chance? Everyone knows that Kirin chip is a mobile phone chip independently developed by Huawei. It integrates multiple functions such as CPU, GPU, ISP, modem, and so on. It is a mobile SoC processor that attracts global attention. The performance of the most advanced Kirin chip was once comparable to that of Qualcomm. Apple's most high-end flagship chip, if it were not restricted from foundry, I am afraid that the Kirin chip would have been iterated in several versions. Compared with the most advanced chips in the United States, the Kirin 9000S process currently equipped on Mate 60 Pro is two or three generations behind the technology. In theory, the difference is about five years. But as long as the breakthrough from zero to one is completed, the follow-up speed will become faster and faster. It is not difficult to achieve mass production as long as the process yield rate is controlled. By then, Huawei will ship more and more Mate 60 Pro mobile phones. Will American companies still have a chance? I am afraid that Qualcomm will lose a large number of advanced chip orders from China. Needless to say, Huawei has a Kirin chip and will most likely not use Snapdragon chips. Faced with competition from the Mate 60 Pro, other domestic mobile phone manufacturers will lose their shipments. In a chain reaction, Qualcomm will also lose the support of other domestic mobile phone manufacturers. Chip Orders the United States currently does not sell high-end advanced chips because it still maintains its technological leadership and has a certain say in the industry. After a series of problems have been solved by China, it will be up to China to decide whether to adopt American chips. Raimondo may have great confidence in U.S. chip technology and believes that as long as China does not export advanced chips, it is impossible for China to achieve a breakthrough. However, Raimondo underestimated the Chinese people's unswerving determination. There is no difficulty that can prevent China from continuing forward. If you agree with the views of this video, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.